fill us in a little bit on, on exactly what a cigar box guitar <laughs> is. I, I didn't know. I had to look it up when I saw the when I saw the thing. Well, as you see, I've got one in the studio here. I've actually got several out in the in the car. What it, what it is is you can basically take a a stick, as it were. Hey, you can take a broom handle. They're already nice and round and smooth. They have great make a great neck. Uh, or you can take a two by one inch piece of poplar or aspen, or you know, go to the local Home Depot or whatever it is, hardware store, and with a couple of bolts and uh, maybe a couple of drywall screws or some glue and a cigar box or a cookie tin, a metal tin. Um, you put that stuff together, and what I like to often use. Uh, uh, is, uh, re using real guitar tuners are almost cheating to me. I mean, I, I use them, but typically I'll use like an eye bolt with a wing nut, and you can build a one or two or three stringer, maybe four stringer. You don't have to go for six. Tune it to an open chord and play it with a slide. And uh, I use a piece of copper pretty often, and I've taken conduit and cut it and, you know, polished it down and slide guitar playing. I, I find it is one of the most exciting and fun things to do and uh, as I was telling you off air uh, I've been teaching workshops uh, you, if you're 10 12 years old and, and up uh, within about an hour and a half to two hours max uh, I can bring you through the, the basic building process and probably it might take all of 10 minutes for me to teach you a basic three chord song using it because what it is is a primitive slide guitar and it comes out of the american south um largely uh, poor farmers uh, sharecropper folks and and before that slaves they didn't have anything so what did they use they maybe had a box uh one or two pieces of bailing wire for strings you know and wound it around and and uh maybe some of uh, some of some of your listeners out there might have seen uh, jack white in a in a in a uh, movie called It Might Get Loud, and uh, he, he actually built a one string, what we refer to as a diddly bow, that kind of that way, just out of a plank with a pickup. But you can electrify these things, so you can plug them into an amp. Um, you could just keep them acoustic. And I mean, really, are there cigar boxes anywhere? Sure, you know, and what are they doing? Holding some nuts and bolts or old pens or photographs or something? I don't know. So you can find very simple stuff out of which to make a stringed instrument that you can play. And you don't even have to put frets in it if you don't want to. So you, when you play slide, the strings are up off the neck. So the fun thing about it is you don't have to build up calluses on your on your one hand, you know what I mean? There's no pain hardly <laughs> involved, you know what I mean? Except the pain of figuring out how to play it. And it's really fun. So what's incredible to me is I, I didn't realize, but I figured it out real quick. I, I If I pulled this thing out for one or two songs in a, in a, in a blues set, no matter where I am, uh, I don't care if it's in the street or in a club or a festival or a church. That's what they want to know about. They come running up afterwards, five, six people going, oh, the, could I, wow, did you make that? What, show me. Uh, here, take it. No, oh, oh, oh. I say, hey, you can break it. I can build another one in about an hour. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just amazing. And so all of a sudden, people begin to go, oh, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could learn to play, finally learn to play guitar. And you, and you can. Uh, my one of my grandkids, in 45 minutes from from the ground up, built one. He just made a two stringer, and uh, I began to teach him how to play. Um, we make two string sometimes and three string fretless basses with a cigar box and a hunk of wood like that, and you use round weed whacker line. You will not believe how good they sound and how easy they are to play. It's amazing, you know. So it's just so, I mean, I'm getting crazy. I, I, look, I may be an ordained minister, okay, and I am. But in my old age, I'm having a riot. I'm having fun. <laughs>